between 2010 and 2014, we have probably lost over 3,000 rhino in our country. That's more than 10% of our entire rhino population that has been wiped out by poacher scum. Myself and a few colleagues set up this organization in 2012. Um, the idea was to bring South African artists from around the country to come together and perform for the cause. Music has no boundaries. You don't have to understand the lyrics of a song to hear what kind of emotion that, that song is portraying. So that's what we're doing with, with the festival. You know, music will bring the crowds together. The crowds will bring funding. The funding will go back into conservation. They started this, I don't know if it's a big male, but they're just waiting for it to go down. Oh. Greedy individuals on the other side of the planet are actually the main cause behind all of this rhino horn infusions, anti poaching teams trying to protect our rhinos. That's quite ridiculous, actually. Majority of the artists that come to our festival perform for free, they perform for the cause. They perform to try and help us save South Africa's rhinos. When you go to bed, we want to hear the sound of the rhino. Thank you, rhino lovers. Any ticket sale profit that we make goes directly back to our beneficiaries. So this year we're supporting Protrax Rhino Task Team, the hardcore rhino warriors of the bush. And these guys are out there 24-7 protecting farms and protecting rhinos. We've got Chris Daniels who's doing a, an educational drive to the youth in the area and as well as other countries and he's, he's got an educational book called Bongi's Quest and that is another of our beneficiaries. Obviously the poaching crisis that's happening in the country there's going to be a lot of orphan rhinos so we're supporting Tula Tula's Rhino Sanctuary or Rhino Rehabilitation Centre down in KwaZulu-Natal so they are our third beneficiary. Uh, our fourth beneficiary is uh, the Baluli Rhino Conservation Project. A massive festival like this doesn't come without costs. So Rockin' for Rhinos would like to thank the main guys on board for this year's festival. We've got Bisbee's Fish and Wildlife Conservation Fund. These guys are based in Texas, so they are our only international sponsor. Without them, this year our festival would not be happening. Then we've got Ad Outpost in, in Johannesburg that is putting up billboards for us on the M1 highway. Fireworks marketing team up in Johannesburg, these guys are rock stars. They created a brilliant website for us. Trucking for Rhinos has been supporting us. This is the third year that they are now supporting us. We need the South African celebrity type artist to join the cause, to join the movement. This year we've got Chris Chameleon joining us. We've got Aking coming up from Cape Town. We've got the Kifness that is joining us on the Saturday. We've got DMP Samart, Stratlich Gunners. We've got Sarkotrophia. We've got Vambusian coming back. He was at our first festival. He's a Namibian rapper. Vastiman, Octanium. Franklin Park is set on the foothills of the northern Drakensberg. It's probably one of the sickest festival venues in the country. This is not just a festival. This is a cause and it's a movement to save South Africa's rhinos. We need to get the South African public involved. Help Rocking for Rhinos, help South Africa's rhinos. We'll see you at the festival. What you're doing tonight you are doing for your country and you're doing for your planet and you're having a good time doing it. So give yourselves a round of applause.